So let's take a look at how to set up call tracking in your Google Business Profile, which is it used to be called Google My Business or GMB. So it's these listings here that you see on Google where it just says businesses. And you can see there's phone numbers listed here for these companies, right? Thing is, if we just call this phone number right here, there's no, like right now, if I were to just type this phone number into my phone and call it, this company would have no idea where I called them from unless this is a call tracking number, in which case then they would know where I was calling from, right? So that's why it's helpful to use a call tracking number in your business profile. However, if you look at any local SEO uh, you know, website that talks at like Bright Local or Search Engine Land or any of these you know big websites that talk about how to do local SEO, You'll run into this NAP information, which is the business name, address, and phone number. And this is how Google tracks businesses across the web. So there may be a business with, or two businesses with the same address, because they're in the same building, but they'd have different names and different phone numbers. So Google would be able to tell that those are two separate businesses. So this presents an, a bit of an issue, because if you're going to set up your Google My Business profile, you want it to have the same phone number as your website and everywhere else that your business has a number online, right? And so to do this, you really need to use a third party tool. And the one I, I like to use is called CallRail. I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for CallRail and check it out, see how all this stuff works. But you can see that we have some call tracking set up here where we can see it says GMB number, website, GMB number, website. We can split these apart here in the graph and see. So these are the phone calls that are coming from the Google Business Profile or the Google My Business listing as it used to be called. And then these are the phone calls that are coming from the website for this company, right? And this is done through CallRail call tracking with an integration with Google My Business. So when you set up a phone number with CallRail, which I have other videos that explain how to set all this stuff up, you can just look up, look them up on my channel. Uh, but once you get your uh, call tracking number set up, so you would essentially create a company associate the phone numbers, the call tracking phone numbers with that company. So for this one, we have a call tracking number for the website and a call tracking number for the Google Maps listing. And we can then integrate with uh, Google My Business. When you do that, there's a place where you can enter in. It'll explain, you know, it'll basically walk you through everything that you need to do in order to set this up. But you just click on activate, you'll connect it with your Google My Business listing, you'll drop the phone number in that you want to associate with. And once you get it all hooked up, it's going to swap the phone number out with the call rail tracking phone number. And then anytime somebody comes to your maps listing here and sees this phone number and calls it, it's going to be logged through call rail and you're going to be able to see when that person called, how long the call was. There's even recordings of the calls. So you'll have some really in-depth insights into what happened with the person that called from your Google Maps listing. Right. And you'll still have your regular phone number in your Google business listing along with this tracking number such that Google knows that your regular phone number is the phone number that is your business number and that this is just a call tracking number that you're using in part because you're integrating with this software so it can track that this phone number is associated with this software and this is call tracking software and you're integrating it and everything so more or less what I'm getting at is it's gonna allow you to have a call tracking number set up here but also not have a negative impact on your NAP SEO information right your name address phone number so Google's still gonna be able to see your original phone number but you're gonna give Google a secondary phone number that's just for tracking and it'll be integrated through here and so Google knows that that 
this number it's showing to people is just a tracking number, but that your real number is some other number. So that's essentially how you would set up call tracking in your Google business profile. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the other side.